guys, what's going on? Tim here, and in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how you can make your very own gaming or retro cool text in Photoshop in just a few easy, simple steps. It's like the one in my banner that I've got at the moment, so make sure you check that out. If you're not already, it's just up above or just click on my YouTube channel, it looks really cool. So I'll be teaching you guys how to make that text in today's video. So make sure you watch the whole video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and yeah guys, let's get into the video. So guys, we're here in Photoshop, and basically this tutorial is actually going to be really easy to do, and um, you'll be able to create some awesome text in just a few simple steps. So what we're going to do is straight away, we're going to open a new document, 12 8 by 720 and um, we're just going to add a background just to make it easier to see, so we're just going to make it black. And yeah, so once you've done that, you just want to get some text. So I'm just going to type text. Um, and you want to make, choose a colour that you like or one that you think will look cool. And just like the one in my banner, I'm going to make it uh, purple because I think this looks really cool. Make sure you've got it highlighted so it actually works. So you just want to go to purple. Nice. Maybe a bit uh, lighter than that. Something like that, yeah. And then once you've done that, just bring it to the middle a bit. And then you want to double click on the layer. Gradient overlay and then just bring it down a bit. Something like 20% looks good. And you want to add an inner glow, change that to overlay. And leave it like that. So that's it for that. Maybe you can add a satin. And change that to overlay and bring down the opacity a bit, 20%. So once you've done that, you want to copy uh, the layer, or in fact, no, you can just duplicate it, press Ctrl J, and then bring it the one below it down a bit. In fact, to delete that, first of all, we're just going to uh, press Ctrl T, and we're going to bring it to an angle you like, so by holding Ctrl, you can actually move it and make it look pretty cool. So you can do what you want here, maybe something like that. And then once you've done that, hold Alt and then click and drag, and you should create two now. And basically, you want the one behind it to be a bit below and a bit to the right. And then you want to press, you want to rasterize it. So rasterize layer style. Press Control U. And then um, we want to make this bottom layer a bit darker. So I'm just going to move it a bit to the left. So you should be getting something like that. It looks really cool so far. And then you just want to group them both together. So once you've done that, in my uh, GFX pack, um, if you've not downloaded it, you should download it. It's in my, one of my older videos. And also, guys, I'll be releasing my new GFX pack tonight. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be really awesome. And yeah, so basically, you just want to hide that. And then you want to go over to the Plexus stocks. And then you want to get this one right here. And then press Ctrl U and you want to make it the same colour as your text. So I'm just going to make it purple. And then you want to uh, press Create Clipping Mask. So it actually masks over the top of the text. And it gives it a really cool effect. And then once you've done that, maybe you can decrease the size of it. So you get more of that in the actual text. And then um, I can't really remember which one it is. I'll just have a look. Uh, yeah, I think it's soft. Yeah, soft light looks good. And then once you've done that, just group it all together. And then just to add some cool little effects, you can do this. So you want to create a new layer and then create clipping mask. And what I like to do is um, just make a bigger brush and just go over the top and maybe a bit down here. And basically change that to overlay and it gives it like a brighter effect. And then do the same but in the bottom corner. So create clipping mask but with a black brush. And set this one to soft light. And it gives it a cool effect like it's fading from light to dark. Just enhances the colours a bit. So once you've done that, I also like to do this. Uh, create clipping mask, go over to the pen tool. And then just make a little diagonal line in the top half. And then fill path and make sure it's white and then you want to change that to overlay as well 
and it gives it a really cool effect like it's shiny so it's looking pretty good so far we've got the nice colors going on right now and now we're gonna add like the retro style gaming um, effect so you just want to duplicate the layer go over to filter um, pixelate and then mosaic and then you want to just decrease it a little bit and this gives it a really 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 cool effect and you can really you can use whatever cell size you want but I'm just gonna go with seven right here and it gives it a really cool effect and once you've done that you can either decrease your opacity a bit and then maybe rub away parts in certain areas and it gives it a really cool pixelated effect and so you can also do this con uh, if you press Control J to duplicate um, the pixelated layer you can go over to filter stylize find edges and then go and press Control I to invert it and then go to filter filter gallery and then go to glowing edges and then basically use this right here what I've got so 1 10 3 and then you want to press Control U bring down the saturation to 0 or minus 100 bring it down all the way and then change that to overlay and it gives it really cool effects like it's all retro style it looks really cool but that's basically it guys it's a really really cool effects that you can do and you can add it to anything thumbnails all that type of stuff I'll probably have it in my thumbnail so make sure you stay tuned for my GFX pack that's coming out tonight smash the like button if you did enjoy this video and share it with your friends and subscribe if you're new thanks so much guys for 2300 subscribers it really does mean a lot and also guys I've got a question um, would you like to see a new series on my channel called Talk to Timpers where you guys get to ask me questions and I'll basically be doing a Q&A and like replying to your comments so if you do um, I, really, I think this will be a really cool idea so actually you guys leave some comments down below um, asking me questions about anything it could be to do with Photoshop or just general questions so just leave them down below and if I get enough comments I will do it in my uh, maybe next video we'll see but make sure you smash the like button share subscribe comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video